Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech with Mahi. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve the best audio quality settings for the Apple Music. So tap on the settings there, present on your iPhone. And just after going to settings, you need to search the music, which is basically the Apple Music. So up, tap on the music option present there. And uh, basically in this video, you're going to learn how to achieve the high resolution lossless or the lossless or the Dolby Atmos formats using your Apple Music. So after going to the music settings, this first three options are personal preferences. These, uh, this is the mobile data to turn on the mobile data streaming and add playlist songs and sync library. These are all personal choices, so I'm not going to comment on them. Coming to the audio, which are the most important settings. First, coming to Dolby Atmos, tap on the Dolby Atmos and choose automatic always because it, automatic, it automatically tracks the audio, audio files and uh, chooses the audio format. If it is of uh, high resolution audio, it chooses high resolution audio or it is of lossless, it chooses a lossless or it, it is of Dolby Atmos, it automatically chooses the Dolby Atmos. So always set it to automatic. So automatic will play in Dolby Atmos with other Dolby audio formats whenever connected to cable outputs like AirPods, AirPods Pro or AirPods Max when spatial audio is turned on. And basically here also you can find the uh, option after tapping here, you will get some spatial audio option. So, uh, so you can choose them after connecting to your AirPods. So coming to audio quality, uh, audio quality, always choose this to lossless audio and turn this lossless to on and uh, mobile streaming. I just kept it to high quality, a three minute song which approximately takes six MB with high quality. But I, d I don't I don't usually mobile stream songs. If I want to listen any songs, I download them and keep in my playlist with a high resolution lossless format. A three minute song will approximately take about 145 MB with high resolution. So that's the thing. I didn't want to choose the high resolution lossless for the mobile streaming. I just kept it to high quality. But whereas coming to Wi-Fi streaming, I got some good internet with me. So I have just I've chosen the high resolution lossless which takes about 145 MB with high resolution lossless audio format, a three minute song. So it see guys, one more thing to remember here, this high resolution lossless or the lossless formats can be only be um, in listen when you connect to the AirPods or the AirPod Pro Max or the spatial audio or the devices, which basically has the Dolby Atmos capability. So and downloads. Uh, I just kept it to high resolution lossless if when I download any songs into the playlist it need to be in a high quality so I've just kept it to high resolution lossless and a thing to remember here guys it takes about 10 GB of space for uh, 3000 songs at high quality and 1000 songs at lossless and 200 songs at high resolution lossless so remember them and uh, download as per your taste and next coming to the equalizer I just turn it off because I wanted to a balanced tone of music to me and sound check guys you need to always turn it on the sound check uh, the sound check need to be turned on because a lot of audio engineers will be telling this if you just turn this off you'll be listening to a very high loud and you won't get that pleasant experience and this it, it basically it's for people who just wanted to listen at a very very loud volume not for the people who are like audio files or something like that. Then if you need to definitely choose sound checks. If you're an audio file and you want to listen to music in a peaceful way, you need to just uh, turn it on. This is what the audio engineers also say. Basically, these audio engineers are the people who develop this Dolby Atmos formats and the spatial audios. And uh, these are the space uh, details of how much songs I have downloaded, how many songs I have downloaded. And downloaded it, download, download in Dolby Atmos. I turn this on, and automatic downloads. I turn this on, and animated formats. These are all few personal preferences. Use listening history, which recommends your Apple Music playlist. So next, coming to the app, just go to the Apple Music. After going to the Apple Music, if you see here, I am just choosing the song. In my, this, these are my playlist. So in this playlist, if you choose here. You can find this option uh, just below the song. There's something called high resolution lossless. 
which means you will be listening to this song in a high resolution lossless and next coming to another song i'll be choosing this song for example and uh, and this is of a lossless format so it basically takes the data now i have turned on the wi-fi i'm just turning off the mobile data to show you again so it basically takes on the audio formats and design it as per the audio file if it is of a lossless you will be listening the lossless if it is of a high resolution lossless you will be getting that if the audio format is of a high resolution lossless you will be listening it in high resolution lossless so it basically depends on the it basically depends on the see if see if you see here this is of a dolby atmos audio format so these are all the three kinds of audio formats you will be listening is so dolby atmos and high resolution lossless and lossless so this is how you achieve the best audio quality settings for the apple music so after setting this kind these settings you will be able to achieve the best settings and you will be able to listen to your music in a very defined way so it basically chooses auto it automatically triggers based on the audio file if it is of dolby atmos it chooses dolby atmos if it is of a loss if it if it is of a high resolution lossless it chooses lossless okay and uh, so that's how it works so thank you guys thanks for watching my video if you like this video do subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos on technology thank you subscribe to my channel